Hey guys, this is Absolute Drinks with Rico. I'm Rico, and yes, Hedda Bruce is still here, everybody. She's a great one. Today, we're gonna talk about one of our other new flavors, which is Absolute Passion Fruit Vodka. Great summer flavor, great passion fruit flavor coming through. I think it's time for a little taste. Yeah. Should we taste it? Yes. Now we're just gonna put a little nip in, not too much. Just a couple of mils, just to taste. Oof. Mm. It has this uh, fresh flavor of passion fruit. Let's take a taste. Actually very, very delicate, but perfect passion fruit flavor with the full mouthfeel that you get from Absolute Vodka. It's the perfect tipple for the summer. Yeah, I think we can make some really good drinks on this one. Uh-huh, let's get straight into it. You remember how to do the magic? Yeah. Okay, let's make some drinks. Okay, so first up guys, we're gonna make the Passion for Days drink. Super simple drink. All we gotta do is no. build this. I'm gonna make this one and you're gonna help me out. Okay. Yeah. I want you to squeeze some lime juice for me. Okay. We have limes and a citrus press. Uh, cheapest ingredients, we have nice. mango juice. We're gonna build this drink straight into the glass since we have so few ingredients. Nice. 50 ml of mango juice. Okay, we got some right. juice. 20 ml each for each drink. That's 20. And another 20. Nice. Thank you. And to the most important ingredient, absolute passion fruit. We're gonna add 30 ml mm. in each glass. Perfect. What do you think? Already smelling good. Nice. Super exotic. So let's fill this one up with ice. Mm -hmm. It's looking good. And maybe you can top it off with some lemonade. So we've got some clear white lemonade right here. If you don't have lemonade, you can always use like a lemon lime soda. We're gonna add some garnish to this cocktail. So we're gonna make a lime mm -hmm. wheel. So cut the side off. I want to make it a little bit fancier. And oh, I know yeah. we've got some pineapple leaves Go at the ahead. back. Sweet. Some beautiful lime wheels. Just because these are quite long, we don't want to poke people's eyes out when they drink it, right? No, we don't. So I'm just going to cut the whites off, that little white end there, and that makes it a little bit more easy to get in. I think we should stick it in and then put the, the wheel in front of it. And don't forget, the only reason why we do stuff like this is just to make it look pretty. Yeah. Should we try it? Let's go for it, Bruce. Yep. That's mm. super nice. Mm. I love the tropic fruits from the mango and the passion fruit. Works very well together with the lemonade. Mm -hmm. And uh, mango juice is usually quite thick. And that lemonade really just cuts through it just to make it a little bit thinner and not as uh, thick in the mouth. When would you like to drink this? Hot summer day. Hot summer day? Yeah. It's a poolside drink, guys. It's a poolside drink, guys. Hedda, thank you for this poolside fantastic drink. Thank you. Passion for days. It's good. So if you want to know the difference between lemonade and lemon lime soda, lemonade is like lemon lime soda, but it just has the flavor of lemon as opposed to lime. Cloudy lemonade is a lemonade that you can buy in store, which is cloudy, but still like a lemon lime soda. Or there's also homemade lemonade, which is lemonade made with lemon juice and simple syrup. Add a little bit of water blended together. And for this, we recommend lemonade or lemon lime soda. Passion plays. Very, very, very simple drink that you can throw together. Kind of aperitivo style, because we're going to have a little bit of a vermouth or aromatized wine in the wow. form of Lillet Rosé. When do you think the best time to drink aperitivo is? Before dinner. There we go, we've got a before mm. dinner drink. Shall we start with the mixing? Yes. Let's get into it. Let's make one each. So, we're going to be doing our cheapest ingredient first, which is the elderflower cordial. Mm. Elderflower cordial is an amazing flavor. This is actually fresh elderflower. This is very common here in Sweden. And if you get any while you're in or around about the countryside or even if you're in the UK, just get hold of some. You know how to make sugar syrup. Go back to the sugar syrup video and make a sugar syrup with some elderflower. And you're gonna end up with some homemade elderflower cordial pretty much. Next up, we're gonna put some Lille Rosé and aromatized wine. If you wanna know what aromatized wine is, it's basically aged spicy sweet wine. And this is a rosé one. We're gonna stick 20 ml. 
straight into our glass. So as you can see, this is super easy. 10 mil, 20 mil. So what do you think the next thing's gonna be? 30 mil. <sighs> Had a bruise, everybody. <laughs> so we want 30 mil of the absolute passion fruit. Straight in. Oi, that's already smelling fantastic. The aroma of the passion fruit is actually going perfectly with the Lille Rosé. Give it a sniff. Yeah, and also the elderflowers works perfect together with the passion fruit. This is a pretty good drink so far, guys. Would you ice me up? I ice you up. Thank you. And we want to fill the glass yeah, that's good. with ice. And then we're just going to take a little bit of tonic water just to give it that... A splash. Va va voom. We want an orange wheel, but the wheel's going to be a little bit too big. But maybe if we do one wheel in half. Smart. I like when you're thinking, Rico. Oh, I've got an even better idea. As well as a wheel, one of the greatest things you can always do with a citrus fruit is just do a little zest. Like so. So you can just take the zest and just slot it in there nicely. Or you can take that wheel and also slot it in. Mm. The aroma is sublime. Let's give this a taste. I'm very excited. Passion plays. Mm. Very happy with that. The fruitiness of passion fruit works very well together with the L flower. Mm -hmm. And that, everyone knows what rosé tastes like. And this is, like I say, a sweet, spicy rosé. Not too spicy, just some like notes. But that's fantastic. I'm not going to lie yeah. to you. This is not a porch pounder. This is a very sophisticated dinner party starter, aperitivo. It's the passion place. Nice one, Bruce. I think we've nailed it. But this is also a great drink to mention. If you're doing 30, 20, 10 of 30 of your base spirit, 20 of a modifier, and 10 of something that's a flavored sweetener, you're gonna always create an amazing drink. And that's what we want you to do, guys. Play around with your drinks, play around with these ratios 30, 20, 10, and show us what drinks you can make at home with those same rules. But don't forget, rules are meant to be broken. So just let us know and make sure you tag all your posts with at Absolute Vodka and hashtag Absolute Drinks. And maybe we're going to put them on absolutedrinks.com. Ready? Yeah. Where did Hedda go? I think she might have snapped to another meeting. I'm sure she'll be back at some point. Next up, we've got a great drink Free Dreaming. Now this is a bit of a special drink. We're gonna use a little bit of bucha or kombucha, whatever takes your fancy. Kind of an unusual fermented tea beverage, which is a kind of unusual ingredient for a cocktail. But this is gonna be super simple. We're gonna build a drink with no need to shake. It's just gonna be nice and easy. Shall we get into it? Let's get into it. So we're gonna take our nice glass. I'm gonna use this nice little goblet glass. So we wanna use five mils of sugar syrup. I know I'm using a very fancy bar spoon right now, but you can just use a teaspoon. You're looking roughly for a teaspoon of simple syrup, just going straight into the glass. Next up, we're gonna put 35 mils of the absolute passion fruit straight into the glass. And then just flip it over bartender style. Next. I just want to make sure that the sugar syrup and the vodka are not like layering on top of each other or separating. So I'm just going to give it a little stir just to make sure things are all mixed up nice. We're going to then go straight in with the ice. Oof, this is some cold ice. Oof, like so. Get your glass nice and filled. As we've told you before, the more ice, the colder the glass. And next, kombucha. Now, bucha is fantastic, guys. It is a fermented tea drink from Asia, kind of like a soft drink. So I'm gonna put that right in. Next up, we wanna garnish it, make it look nice and pretty. So we're just gonna go one little lemon wheel. We're gonna slide that in, looking nice. So we're gonna get some mint. We're gonna try and find a nice one. Some of these sprigs are a little bit broken off. And what you're kind of looking for when you want to find like the perfect mint sprig is the very top of the mint plant. This is where you're going to start to see the sprouts come in. Just make sure you get a nice bunch. If you just pull it up like that, try and make it look kind of like a flower, you know you've got a good sprig. I'm just going to slide that in there nicely. And there we have it, guys. The free dreaming. Let's give a taste. Mmm. Mmm. 
Kombucha is one of my favorite drinks. I think this kombucha is actually like a pineapple and peach one, so that's working amazingly with the absolute passion fruit. You're getting all those fruity flavors and exotic tastes. That little mint sprig at the end, every time you take a little sip, it's gonna give that mint aroma and really balance out all the flavors in there just to make everything sublime. If you like this drink or like the look of this drink, go to absolutedrinks.com, check out the Doris Royale, another fantastic drink which is very similar to this in the same type of flavor profile, just with a little bit more cucumber and zhuzh zhuzh zhuzh. Okay, let's get out of here, guys. <laughs> that up, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, where the hell did you come Bet. from? Okay. Glad to have you back, Miss Bruce. Thank you. So next up, it's time to get me full of anxiety and sweat. It's the mystery basket challenge. So we're gonna have a brand new mystery basket that's gonna come here. Um, and what we're gonna be tasked to do is make a brand new drink on the fly. We don't know if it's gonna work and we don't know if we're gonna succeed, but we're gonna have some experimentation because without experimentation, we would never have got the fantastic cocktails that we all drink today. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's get the basket ready for the click. Wow. That's good. Please do the honors. Okay, this is an interesting basket. Let's start taking things out. First up, we've got a super fancy coupe glass. Pepper. Next up, we've got some fresh cilantro, what we call it coriander. A very polarizing ingredient, guys. Eggs. Ooh. Ooh. We got some ice creams. Bananas. We've got a whisk. Chili. We've got a garlic press. Oof. A lime. We've got a kiwi fruit. Bowl. Colander. A muddler. Oof. We've got a tin of coconut cream. Mm. Pineapple. Got some lemongrass. Mm. Oh, that's natural yogurt. We've got a small little three piece shaker. Get that out of the way. We have some. We got some agave syrup right there, guys. It's a uh, syrup made from the agave plant, and the agave plant is what tequila's made from. This is actually 20% sweeter than sugar. You need to use less of this than you do sugar. I think we've got some pretty good ingredients here. I think everything will work together with the passion fruit except the cilantro. You say that, but it could work, but it is very polarizing. Yeah. It's a dangerous ingredient. Mm. You like cilantro? No. Uh, should yeah. we start making? I think so. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do is take some of my uh, lemongrass. I'm gonna go and grab a blender for my drink. Oh, nice. So this is extremely aromatic. And the reason why I'm cutting this up because it is a very big grass. So we need to cut it up just to open up the insides. And then we're gonna start to bruise it a little bit. Oof, on the inside of my shaker. Cause that's just gonna start releasing all the flavors and the oils from the lemongrass. Because I don't have a muddler, I'm gonna do something extremely dangerous and use an ice pick upside down just to break this up. Okay, I'm gonna start with my banana. Just in smaller pieces. So as you can see right there, all of them it just smashed the lemongrass right up. And this is just gonna really help open up all those aromatic flavors. Right, let's get into my lime. You could use a citrus press or a citrus elbow. I'm just gonna use my muscles. I usually tell you put the cheapest ingredients first, but for the sake of this experimentation, I wanna get a bit more flavor into the passion fruit. And by that, I mean I wanna try and infuse the lemongrass flavor as much as possible in this short time into this vodka. So I'm actually just gonna take 45, put that into my shaker and just let that sit for a moment. And about 30 mils. Next up, I'm gonna take an egg. I'm gonna separate it because I just want the egg white. As you see, we just crack the egg open there, pass it from shell to shell. As you can see, we've got the egg white and the egg yolk right there, perfectly separated. I'm only gonna use the egg white for my drink. But save all your yolks because you might want to make a flip or prairie oysters or golden flips. This is really good. Right, I'm going to add some of my mm. natural yogurt in here. Mm. Won't forget the most important ingredient, the absolute passion fruit, 45 ml. Next up, I'm going to use the agave syrup. So I'm only going to put 15 ml in. Yummy. Mm. Now we got some ice in here. 
Before you go, can I use a bit of your used up lime? Yeah, of course. Amazing. Can I take both bits? Thank you. I'm going to see how much juice I can get out of here. Can I borrow some pepper from you? I suppose so. Don't use it all, though. Just to spice my drink up a little bit more. So first up, I'm going to put roughly around about 25 mils of this lime juice in. Let's blend this. Next up, I'm going to stick my egg white directly in. So I've got all the ingredients for my drink in here now. Now I'm not going to put any ice in because I'm going to do a little bit of a dry shake first. That's just going to help emulsify all the flavors together and get a real frothy consistency uh, with the egg white. So let's get into it. I'm actually going to add some extra ice and blend a, li a little bit more because I want a thicker consistency to this frozen cocktail. Nice, my drink's done. Enrico. Yeah. Can I maybe use one of your... Please go for it. Make nice. sure you rinse it out because it's All had right. raw egg in. So now we're just going to fine strain this little cocktail into the glass. Oh. Going to make sure there's no bits of ice. Make sure we got rid of all that lemongrass that's chopped up in there. I'm going to go for some lemongrass. We're gonna chop a little bit. I'm gonna place that in. And I'm also gonna do a little bit of black pepper. Wow. Mm. Should we try them? Yeah. Okay. Mine tastes like ice cream. <laughs> Let me taste yours. Like a banana colada ice cream. Oi, <laughs> that's real good. Wow. Can I try yours? You can indeed. Mine tastes like a very, very good passion fruit sour, which is what it is. But with that lemongrass it and that black very pepper. very well together with the lemongrass. Yeah. And as you see, we stick that right there because it is our aromatic. You want to get that smell when you're drinking it. And the black pepper also. It's almost like Thai food. Really good. The lemongrass and the pepper works really, really good. Then the egg white gives it like a really nice texture. Mm. See, the addition of egg white really gives the whole drink like a real cloudy uh, texture and mouthfeel when you drink it. Egg white actually is a bit of a flavor like combiner. It really helps mold all the flavors together. But whenever you use egg white like this in a drink and you put some citrus in, you want to get it shaken up as quickly as possible because the citrus will start to cook the egg white before you get it to this texture. And if you had scrambled egg in this, it's not going to be the nicest. No. I think we actually did okay. I have a really, really bad garnish game. No, you've got a great garnish game. You've just not done a garnish. But I'll let you pick something from the box. I have an idea. Do it. Let's do a double ice cream. Oof, the way it drips over mm. the glass there. Mmm. I think ice you... Ice cream. Can I have a... Yeah. Mmm. Mm. That's good, Bruce. Mmm. Mm. Ice cream makes everything better, guys. What did I tell you? Any situation, get your ice cream in a glass. But that's it. Thank you so much, Heather Bruce, for coming back. And look, guys, these ain't the most perfect drinks in the world, but you've got to get down to do some experimentation. Experiment with what you've got at home. Yeah. Any tips for the home bartender, Bruce? Just, just try. I mean, challenge yourself. I mean, that's how you're going to learn what's worked together, what's not working together. That's like the only way. And don't forget, tag all your creations with at Absolute Vodka and hashtag your creations with Absolute Drinks. Hopefully you get to see your drink on AbsoluteDrinks.com. That was good, Bruce. Thank you very much, guys. And don't forget, like and subscribe down at the bottom. And also, if you want to see any other drinks on any of our future videos, just stick everything in the comments because we read everything, guys. Love you. Peace. Well done.